The JHQ Rheindalen military complex in Germany will be celebrated in a collection of photographs to be exhibited in a local gallery before being published in a coffee table book. JHQ will close in 2014 and the two German artists responsible for the pictures worked on a similar project during the last days of Osnabrück garrison. Rob Olver reports. When we've been here two months before there were still three, two or three cars in the street and um, no, it's empty, so it's it's kind of it's kind of symbolic. Franz Vamhoff describes himself as an artist with a camera, but he and partner Nicole Blaffett shun picture postcard prettiness in favour of images that tell a story. What particularly fascinates Franz about JHQ as it prepares to close is the gradual exodus that's leaving some streets deserted for the first time in 60 years. It's, it's very interesting because it's not what you see when you go out in a city anywhere. So you, you can't see anywhere or very rarely a street without cars. We are always looking for, for places they are empty, not for a long time, just a short period, weeks or just a few months. So you can still see there was life before and um, it's not completely rotten. We have been in, in one mess. It's a huge officer's mess. It, it's empty, but you can imagine where where the sofa were standing, and 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 yeah, you can imagine voices and yeah, people, and yeah, it's it's not scary. It's um, it's a nice feeling. The place that remains a symbol of JHQ is the Big House, a sprawling network of interconnected 1950s office blocks where British generals once prepared for a Soviet attack. It's still not easy to get in, so it's still you still have the feeling that it's a very important building and the very important things are going in there on there and it's still the headquarter of, of, of the British forces because yeah we are interested in the in the time of the Cold War. It's Franz and Nicole's first assignment with nine month old son Theo, but not with the British forces. They've also photographed the Nella Hall Royal Military School of Music and Osnabrück Garrison as it closed. Service life is not their only focus of attention but places that to the outside world are hidden behind camp fences or barracks walls do interest them. The JHQ pictures will appear at an exhibition in nearby Munchengladbach right from this Saturday and remain on show until February. Next year they'll be displayed at a gallery in Manchester. They're also to be published in a book. Rob Olver, Forces News, Rheindalen.